place where we can go and be alone. So come away with me, nobody has to know where we gonna go. Mm. Everything you've watched just now are recorded on this tiny camera right here this is the insta 360's newest edition insta 360 go 3s such a tiny body weighed just under 40 grams but it packs so many texts and features this is the first time insta 360 added 4k on their action cameras if you want to shoot slow motion you can shoot in 1080p in 200 frames per second for extra smooth slow motion shots. The new feature Mega View allows you to record wider view in your frame. If you want even more, you can change the Ultra View if you do skiing, dirt bikes, or other sports. POV shots are very popular recently. You can easily achieve that by mounting the camera near the chest area and have that hands-free POV angle. If you think wide camera might be too bright on your body, you don't want to stand out too much, you can also choose the Midnight Black version as well. It's matte black, so it's super cool. So while you're shooting in landscape mode and you want to change to vertical mode, simply twist the camera around without losing any resolution. It's so simple. And this time, you can use Apple Find My feature if you use iPhone. So you don't need to worry about losing your camera again. I love this new feature called the Gesture Control. You can raise your palm to start recording and show a peace sign to take a photo. You can control them with your voice too. I don't usually bring this camera underwater, but this camera got the IPX8 level of waterproof. That means you can bring this camera underwater up to 10 meters. But just remember, the camera itself is IPX8 waterproof, but the action port itself is only IPX4 splash proof. That means you can only bring your camera underwater up to 10 meters, but it's not recommended to bring both camera and action port into the water. So just keep that in mind. One thing that I worry about to go out and shoot is the battery life. With the tiny camera itself, it can shoot up to 38 minutes, but with the action port, it can shoot up to 140 minutes. That's over two hours with such a small camera. That's very impressive. You also have this flip screen, so it's very useful when you're shooting vlogs and you can see the composition in your shots. I usually edit my videos in DaVinci Resolve, but if you just finish shooting and you wanna quickly edit your video and upload to social media, so what you can do is you can download the Insta360 app on your phone and quickly connect the smartphone and the Go 3S via Bluetooth. And you can instantly edit in the Insta360 app. With the built-in AI editing feature, you can quickly edit a short video that's useful for social media. If you wear the Go 3S for any sports like running or dirt biking, then the flow state stabilization is your best friend. When you turn it on, it can give you very stable and smooth shots. Instantly increase the quality of your video and better view experiences for your audiences. If you tell me five years ago that such a small action camera can produce such a stable video, I wouldn't believe you. But now, it's in the palm of your hand. With its tiny size and so many accessories, it gives you so many possibilities and the creative angles. As long as you have an idea, this camera can pretty much do them all. I'm actually super impressed by such a small camera. The question I got asked the most is, if I already have a InstaGo 3, which is the last version, is it worth it to make the upgrade? It depends on what you use the camera for. If you only use this for documenting everyday life, don't have to have the highest resolution, like in 4K, and happy with the video that you currently can get out of the Go 3, then I don't think you need to make the upgrade. In saying that, if you use this camera as your main camera and want to have the high resolution, better image quality, or you use it very frequently for any sports, you require that stabilized footage, slow motion, and a wider view, then I think it could be a very good upgrade from the Go 3. 
So this is my take on the new Insta360 GO 3S camera. I hope you enjoyed it and find it helpful. This video is not sponsored by Insta360, so my experience so far has been fantastic. The only small inconvenience I find so far is that might be the overheating issue that everyone talked about, but you record non-stop that long, then it's normal to have a little bit overheating issue. It doesn't stop recording, even though you can feel it's a little bit hot. But I don't think that's a major concern for to buy this camera. So I still feel super impressed by um, the image quality this camera can produce with such a tiny body. So, so the Insta360 has came a long way on the action cam. If you do want to get one for yourself or your friends as a gift, I do have an affiliate link in my description box down below. Uh, if you decide to purchase from the link, I can get a small commission. So uh, I would really appreciate it if you want to buy one. Uh, in saying that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What else can I do? Won't you let me dream in my dream?